Hi, friends. Last Friday, we watched a um, read aloud book about Humphrey the whale. And we learned that when a lot of people work together, they can do amazing things. For example, in our story, Humphrey the whale was beach. He was a giant whale, and he got stuck on a beach, and he couldn't get back to the ocean because of the bridge. He could have been stuck there. But people saw that there was a problem, and they came to help. There were so many people that did things for Humphrey, from pouring water on him to keeping him um, from the sun, putting towels on him. They also um, dig out that area so that Humphrey could get through underneath that bridge. So many things that got done. But because many, many people worked together, Humphrey was able to make it back to the ocean. So this happens all of the time. When people work together, they can do amazing things. It was kind of tricky this year to think of an activity that we could do together um, to do something awesome. But um, something that is very dear to my heart is the soldiers that are out there for us, who are there to protect our country, and they do their jobs every single day, and that is amazing. And I appreciate that because my son's going into the military, and it's something that we've grown up with. In our family, it's really important. The military is incredibly important. And a lot of times, they don't get the thank you that they deserve because we don't think about all of the things that they're giving up, from the time away from their family to um, being in conditions that are not great. Um, also, the amount of time that they're there and that they're expected if, if something happens, they've got to pick up their stuff and go right away. Those people are amazing. And they need our gratitude. The other week we did a grateful chain. And we said what we were thankful for. Well, one thing I'm thankful for is the soldiers that are there to protect our country. And so what I thought we would do would be to write a letter to these soldiers that are um, protecting our country. So there is a link that I want you to click on. It is ForgottenSoldiers.org. And this link um, will allow you to just write a little letter to a soldier. You don't even know the soldier. And um, <clears throat> these soldiers, they have been identified as ones that don't get a lot of mail. So they're going to make sure that these soldiers who don't get a lot of mail get something from you and for you to express your gratitude to them, to say thank you for everything that they've done for us. There's 26, 27 of us, including me. If we all do one, we can make the day of 27 soldiers. That's pretty awesome. There's a lot of soldiers out there. So if you feel like doing two or three, that'd be awesome. Or you can even tell, ask your parents and say, hey, mom and dad, do you want to do this too? Because then we can have even more soldiers knowing that we appreciate them. So click the link. You're going to be able to put your first name and the state that you're from, and then write a letter. What do you want to include in that letter? How about Thank you so much for everything you do. Or we're learning about ways um, that we can be grateful and let people know. And I am grateful for you. There's so many things we could write. Now, if you know a soldier like my girl Navy, you may certainly write to that soldier instead of writing to a soldier that you don't know. It's up to you. You choose. But I want these letters to be out and um, for you to express your gratitude and show caring to other people.